Hello friends, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a terrarium with a few household items. The household tools we'll be using today are a muddler, used behind the bar, a fan brush, often used for facials, and a basic tongue depressor. What you put in the terrarium is really up to you, but here's the things that I chose. I have a little green moss, I also have some stones. The stones will be necessary, so you will have to grab some of those. And I also have some planting soil, which is also a necessity if you plan on having plants in your terrarium. And finally, you're going to need plants. I'm going to be taking a few strands off of these plants I have here because portions of them are dying. How can I forget the terrarium vessel? When you pick a terrarium vessel, what's best is to have something that will seal so that you can create a biosphere of sorts. The one that I'm using has a lid. First of all, you're gonna put some of your pebbles into your vessel. This will help with water drainage so that your plants that you put in won't become waterlogged and die. Next, I'm adding my soil and using the mother to pat down some of the soil to flatten it, but not adding too much pressure that the soil becomes too compact and I can't put the plants in. If you are removing pieces from larger plants like I am, make sure you're careful so you don't damage the roots. Obviously the plants will need that to drink up the water and use the soil. Next is adding your plants. Make sure they're the right height as you go along so it doesn't overpower the vessel you're putting them in. As you place your plants where you like them, begin to maneuver the soil around the roots. You may have to add more soil on top of it like I did here. As you go along, you can use your muddler that you borrowed from your boyfriend's bar cabinet. Shh and begin applying pressure to firm the soil down. Make sure not to damage the roots, however. As you go, don't forget to use your fan brush to wipe away any excess dirt off your plants or the side of the vessel. Now onto the beautification. This is the point where you can add in your additional items that aren't there to keep anything alive, such as some additional rocks, like I'm using some of the moss that I'm using. You might have some shells or other items you want to put in with the uh, terrarium. Make sure as you go, you're continuing to wipe with your fan brush and you can also use your tongue depressor to organize things without applying a lot of pressure when it's not needed. And voila, you have your very own terrarium. Just add a little bit of water and then seal. And you shouldn't have to water it again as the plants will create its own biosphere within. You will see dew begin to build up along the sides of the container. That is normal. Let it go about its process. That water will rewater the plants. If it does continue and it does get excessive, you might have to let it open and evaporate a little bit of the water out. I hope you enjoy your terrarium like I do. Make sure you like and subscribe, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and I'll see you next time, friends. Bye-bye.